And we're talking about people that are ill here. They're not bad, they're not criminals. Uh, and it's absolutely vital these people get the right care from the right people. I've been part of this from day one. The thing that I'm most proud about is that members of the public now receive the right care from the right agency. And for me, yes, there's been a significant demand reduction, but actually it's always, always been about service delivery to the public and trying to improve that. Right Care of Right Person is Humberside Police's response to dealing with demand and dealing with incidents where people are in mental health crisis. Somebody who's in mental health crisis needs to be quickly seeing someone who is trained and has the knowledge and the expertise to then navigate services and make sure that they can access what that person needs in crisis and put a plan together. So we have to be acting as quickly as possible to keep everybody involved in this safe, particularly the person at the centre of it. Being able to use the toolkit means that we don't use police resources that could be used for other things. This is a medical matter and whether that be the crisis team or the mental health teams or the ambulance are going to it, it means that they're the correct agency to be going. I think the comms are well on it, so if a job comes in, I think they do an initial assessment to see where, where that falls. Is a requirement for our attendance, and if it is, is it just a supporting role with ambulance, or is it something where we need to take the lead? You know, obviously someone at a bridge that's wanting to end life, we would initially go to that, try and engage with the person, and then pass them on to the appropriate service. If it's someone where they're in their own house or a mental health crisis, then maybe it's not really appropriate, we can go support, but we shouldn't really be taking the lead on, on that. And if you look at, kind of national mental health surveys, you know, the lived experience of people that are mentally unwell. They do not want a police officer there. It stigmatises them. It puts them in a position where their mental health actually deteriorates. So for us, it's always been about improving that service delivery. And I have to say that whilst it was challenging, our partners were really good. They joined in, really enthusiastic. They understood the principles of right care, right person, skills, training and expertise. I think another challenge was about our internal work. So getting the police officers, our police staff, some of our contact officers in control rooms, getting them to feel comfortable about making decisions, preparing them, training them, but also getting our frontline officers to understand what they need to do as well. If they do go to a mental health job, a crisis job and, and how they should operate. So those police forces that are embarking on this, it will be a journey. It needs to be led from the top. Now it's a national programme. It's got backing from the Home Office, it's got backing from the Prime Minister, it's got backing from the Police Minister, it's got backing from the Health Minister. Um, and generally there is an acceptance within the Health Service that this is the way to go because we are not giving those patients the right care and that is causing an awful lot of distress to those patients. All of us join public service to make a difference in our communities and we should be listening to the voice of patients and other people in their communities and what their needs are. And they were really saying to us that they didn't want to engage with policing at these moments of crisis and actually added to their distress and really made the whole experience worse. So we have to find a way to listen to that and make a difference in our response. Now, of course, the police will always be there when people really need us. And if there is a threat to life or serious harm, a really significant crisis, we will always attend and we will absolutely protect people. But often the calls that we receive are not critical in that nature. They do need support and help, but not from the police. And we can really signpost people and help them to get the right service.